Hello, everyone. Welcome back to October Blues. <laughs> it hasn't gotten better. I I don't know what to. I need a theme song. That's what we need. We need a theme song. I said it last year. But welcome to October Palooza 2023. We are starting with, as you know, there are some things going on in the world. Give it up to the WGA for getting a fantastic deal. Please let. Hollywood do the same for SAG so that we can get back to business. These actors need to work. We need to react. We love it. But due to that, we are finding some things that we love. I speak in the royal we. That is animation, which I already loved, and international films, which I'm finding new that I love. So for October Palooza 2023, we are going outside the box. No trailers, no movies. No current movies. Well, I say no movies. That's a lie. No current movies from Strut Companies. But today we are checking out The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. I'm so excited for this because I don't think I've seen this these two tales since I was a wee little lass. And I just don't remember them at all. And having recently been to Disneyland with my sister last May for uh. I don't know why we went. It was just a trip. Anyway, we went to Disneyland and I rode Mr. Tile, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And I did not understand the story. Not one little bit of that ride. I don't understand why it's people's favorite ride. It is an incredibly tiny little cart. And they jam two people in this tiny said little cart. And you go through this wild ride and this wild story that just abruptly ends in hell. And there's no great explanation. So I need to see the original context to this ride. So I'm excited. Come along with me. We've got our spooky setup for 2023. Say hello to the Pumpkin Twins. And they don't have a name yet. So let me know if you want to name the Pumpkin Twins down below in the comment section. And uh, while you're down there, leave your recommendations for October October Palooza 2023. Leave an animated tale or an international horror favorite that you might want me to check out. And we will add it to the list. Some things that are coming up that are already on the list. We've got Coraline, Monster House, James and the Giant Peach, and yes, folks, the time has come. We will end October Palooza 2023 with The Nightmare Before Christmas. So if one of your favorites is not on that list, leave it down below in the comments section. But for now, we are going to watch Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, it contains tobacco depictions. Well, crush my pearls. Well, that's snazzy. I used to, I love when credits used to be before the project. Just get it all out of the way. Let's go. And then when it's over, we can go home. And this way, the people actually get to read your name because it's at the beginning of the movie and you're not going anywhere. So you have to sit here and read that Mary Blair. Ooh, Mary Blair did the color and styling on this one. Isn't she... Doesn't she do, like, amazing art? Sure, Marcella, she does amazing art. Great info dump. This is old Disney. Animation is so pretty. If you were asked to choose the most fabulous character in English literature, who would it be? Hmm. Robin uh, Hood? King no. Arthur? Maybe. Becky Sharp, Sherlock Holmes, Oliver Twist, perhaps. Sherlock. Still, for the most fabulous character of all, I would nominate a toad. J. Thaddeus Toad Esquire. But, but, but why is it called Ichabod and Mr. Toad if we're going to start with Mr. Toad and leave the story for Ichabod to last? That's annoying. I'm really annoyed by that. Had a host of fair-weather friends, of course, but there were only three who had his best. No one wondered why this toad could speak. One was a badger. Hmm. Mac Badger. Mac Badger. Sorry, rat says mole. Quite all right, says rat. Two lumps, if you please. If you please, says mole. I love that they're just mole and rat. Oh? Special delivery, Mr. Rat. Thank you, Postman. Why is everyone just... Quiet that rat's wearing clothes and talking. Dear rat, you and mole must come to Toad Hall at once. If it was that urgent, should you have sent a messenger and not a postman? The ancestral home of J. Thaddeus himself. Mm. 
It does look like the ride. The finest home on the river. I have a pretty good picture of it. I'll put it up here. And yet it was no secret that Toad's costly follies had brought him to the brink of bankruptcy. Toad, spending so much money on what? Your lavish house? What are you doing, Toad? Damage, lump post. Four pound six. Four pound six. You asked someone to come urgently and you're not going to answer the door? Open the door, bad uh, Badger? Yeah. How could a man figure with all this poo You asked us to come over. You'll get your money in due course. Now, go along with you. Go, go. Jeez, stop. Just send it by mail. The check's in the mail. Oh, didn't I tell you? Uh, uh, oh, see, you asked us to come. I'm practically a nervous wreck. Why do they, why are they rat and mole, but he's Mick Badger? Is it because he's Scottish? You're his closest friends, are you not? Yes. Very deaf. They really do kind of look like Sherlock and Watson in a way, don't they? And again, is this a class thing? Because you've got Rat, Mole, McBadger, but then he gets a whole name, J. Thaddeus Toad. How come the horse can speak, but he still has to be a servant and be a horse? How come he doesn't just to get to be horse? This is a very complicated caste system they've set up. What is wrong with that road? We have no time to stall. We've got to be there. We got to... All right, horse. If you can speak and sing, you know you shouldn't be doing this. We're not sure that we're going to be there. We're only sure we've got to be there. Stop ruining everything. Are you high? What's going on? Hello, you fellas. You're the very animals I was coming to see. We'll go for a jolly ride. No, I don't think we will. No, thanks. Ha, ha. What is wrong with you? I want you fellows to meet my noble steed, Cyril. A bit of a rotter. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Your friends seem to be a bit on the stuffy side. What? <laughs> this is all so complicated. It's all so... Ooh, some things are better left in your memory. <laughs> You've got to stop this foolishness. Huh? I will not. <laughs> I won't. And you can't make me. Poor old Mac Badger. And as for that horse, no good can ever come from getting about. Beast. <laughs> Everything that just happened, that just happened there was so weird. Oh. Uh, he has no pants on. They stole his pants. Give him his pants. Whee! -ho! No, he's just on a... Oh. What do you need the cart for, though? Can we take the cart off and just let the two of you run around? What is it? Lummy, doesn't it? It's a car. It's a motor car. Have you never seen a car before? <laughs> I forget how he ends up in hell. Oh. All they did was back up off the road. Why'd all that happen? Gad. Oh, no. What have I been missing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Here, that was like the Jungle Book character, right? I wonder if they reused that. How is he doing that? And he has a new mania. Motor mania. Motor mania. That's what it was. A positive mania. No telling where it would end, either. What about your, uh, what you do with Cyril? I'm not advocating violence, but somebody slapped the shit out of that toad. Well, I mean, you can't just lock him in his room. That's rude. He, he is, he does have free will. Now, of course, playing jailer to one's dearest friend mole. wasn't exactly a pleasant situation. I need a plushie of that mole. He's so cute. I wonder if they make a Funko. No, definitely not. This time, they must be... F I don't need a Funko, a stuck-up rat. Now, there was only one thing wrong with Ratty's cure for Toad's motomania. Didn't work. Yep, yep. Dad figured he was going to do that. He was determined to 
get a motor car, even if he had to beg, borrow, or... As it turns out, he tried to steal it. His Majesty of Quarter Versailles is most dependent, J. Thaddeus, Toad, Toad, Old Riverbank, and Doodle, Button, Max Morton, 30, 24th day of August, set forth in the following brief. You are slow down there, kid. Uh, all right. Accuses J. Thaddeus, Toad, of stealing the motor car, of driving said stolen vehicle in a reckless manner on the public eye road. To the end hey, guys! <laughs> Steal their life and limbs. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Mole. I don't understand why some animals are people and... But there seem to be all people, and they all can understand. But are there still rats and moles that don't wear people clothes? Hi. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's so cute. Why is mole so cute? Is it true that you have the accused locked in his own house? Yeah, but you don't have to shout at me like that. We did. Thank you! That is all! Did you bring me out here to ask me one question? McBadger! McBadger! As trustee of the toad. Let us hear from you, McBadger! As mania for motor cars! A oh, wee liar. And due to his reckless. I think he might have been asleep at the time, because he was tired. Poor McBadger's been so tired. Without fun! Well, uh. That is all! <laughs> well, uh. So, what happened was. Unrest. <laughs> I love how Toad is not bothered in the least. With the court's indulgence, I rise prepared to plead my own defense. Moly. Oh, Molly. Gentlemen of the jury. I call as my first witness Cyril Proudbottom. Cyril Proudbottom? You did not bring that horse in there. That horse is not wearing a suit. See what I mean? I don't understand. I don't, yes. He's one of the jolliest chaps I've ever run across. But he wasn't throwing it away that day. You heard Mr. McBadger testify. I don't understand. How come when he was being a horse out there, he wasn't wearing clothes? But now that he's in court, he's wearing a suit, but no pants. What is the honest way? Haha, <laughs> I thought you wouldn't know that, Governor. See, look, now he's not wearing clothes. He's just wearing that thing that looks like a toilet seat. Something passed like the London Express. Was there anybody driving that car? It was red. It was beautiful. Is he going to try and put the horse in the motor car? Is that why the seats are so small? The motor pulled up to a tavern, wherein was located a bar. The weasel. Tough-looking weasels got out of that lovely red car. And like 19 other weasels. I didn't have no crystal ball. I mean, that's true. Ooh, stop sucking in the, the fumes. No wonder you end up in hell. You died of carbon monoxide poisoning. Try it for he's dead right there. Now he's just a spirit walking around. Don't try it on for size, Cyril. It's the size of you. Who's the owner of that uh, hot-looking car? Why? That car must be mine. But Toad found he hadn't no money. So he promptly offered a trade. The weasels appeared to be willing. In a moment, the bargain. Weasels! Called on old Winky the barman to uh, pop over and witness the deed. The deed to what? The what did he give them the deed to? I hope not Toad Hall. He never does anything small. Oh god, he gave them the deed to Toad Hall. And he gave the weasels Toad Hall! <laughs> Fudge and hell! Toad Hall. An estate worth a hundred thousand pounds for a stolen car. <laughs> so are the weasels over at Toad Hall right now? I don't expect you to believe anything. I can produce a witness. Winky? Mr. Winky. Mr. Winky, Mr. Winky. Hey, Winky. Loving the purple suit. <laughs> Are we lying? Are you a liar? Are you a liar? Do you recall an incident that took place in your uh, establishment that I was a party to? What are you doing? Why is he putting on his hat and his glove like he's getting ready to run away? Just tell the court what actually happened. You tried to sell me a stolen motor car. I've been free! Let me go! Well, this took a turn I wasn't expecting. Toad 
The news of Toad's disgrace rocked the nation. Of course, Toad's friends tried to help him, but they were blocked at every turn. This took quite the turn. Oh, poor Toad. Appeal to this court, that court. But why did he wink at Mr. Winky? I guess his name's Winky, can't trust the winks. But didn't it say it was seven years? It didn't say 70 years. I think it said seven years, right? That's not that long. I mean, still, oh, I don't know how long toads live. How long does a toad live? And unfortunately, the abode of toad for a good many Christmas. So how does he end up in hell? And, okay, I guess he's chained to the wall. I was going to say, he's so little, he could just run through the bars. Oh, he looks so pasty. With many a pang, he recalled the kindly face of Angus. But Is that a pool of his own tears? A tear for Molly, too. For his Molly. And Toad wept for Rat. And all those little lectures. Rat's not weeping for you. Rat's so mad at you. Yes. Do they, did give him, they didn't even give him a toilet? Oh, it's just a ball. He could pick that ball up. I guess he couldn't get the ball through the... A repentant Toad. They didn't even give him prison gear. He's wearing his own tattered clothes. Oh. Never again would he give way to those mad, foolish men. He's so sad. Toad, you need to be working out with that ball. Get your cardio up. Get your muscles going. You're going to break out of there. You'll be fine. Being as it's Christmas, you're allowed a visitor. Your grandma's here. Grandma? Huh? He doesn't have a grandma. Granny wouldn't forget her little toady ball. Oh, Cyril. Cyril? <laughs> Oh, Cyril. Cyril, you're a real one. Christmas gift. What, 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 what is it? Don't you get it? A disguise. Alas, for good intentions, Toad was incurable. And all his high resolve vanished in the mad whirl of this new adventure. Wait. So, am I to believe that... Horse is going to stay there as Toad, and Toad's going to escape as Grandma, and the guards are just going to believe that. That's that's what you want me to believe? <laughs> is that what happened? But how does Toad get to hell? Toads can swim, right? Maybe you should get in the river. Oh, the river's frozen. Oh, Toad, it couldn't have been that long left on your sentence. Wow! Oh! I'm just a grandma. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening to you, officer. Huh? We are merrily, 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 merrily on up. Hey! Your ball fell out. Oh no, is the ball gonna end up in the river and that he's gonna drown? That's horrifying. Is that how Toad ends up in the... in hell? Toad would they? Aha! Never! Oh no, that's worse than a motor coach. Oh, or a motor car. Yeah, we just had a... <laughs> this is a horrible idea! <laughs> the mania is even worse. You, th you thought he was bad with a motor car? Look at him with this! <laughs> Randomly firing bullets into the air. Oh, well, not so random. Stop just firing bullets and stop shoveling coal in there. Oh, it's going to go so much faster. This is absolutely how he's going to end up in hell. He's going to die. Toad, you're insane! Yep. Well, you know, that's a terrible idea, Toad. Once more, J. Thaddeus Toad. Yeah. How are you? How are you planning to get out of there, Toad? <laughs> I guess he's. A, I guess he can breathe underwater. <gasps> right? He's a toad. He can breathe underwater. Oh no! He's gonna drown. But he's a toad. I'm confused. That same Christmas Eve along the river bank, the name of Toad was banned from Compass, and yet there was one home at least in which two loyal hearts still held the warmth. Aww. They're not Quinjo. giving up on their friend. Bless us, everyone. What exactly is that small? 
that they're eating. It's not a turkey, because they're a mole and a rat. So what is small enough that they're eating? Behavior. Yeah, he's not going to get time off for good behavior, because he kind of escaped. Hi, it's a poor old lady. Ow! Two! What are you doing here? <laughs> well, I, I, I was just uh, uh, sort of... We got out. Aren't you afraid of the police? Afraid of the police? <laughs> <laughs> Open up! Open up, I say! The police! Hide me, rat! No, hide yourself! You were supposed to be in jail. You probably would have got out by now if you'd just stay there. My badger! Hi, lads. Hood Hall is a blaze with lights. It's full of weasels. And the leader of the gang is none other... Mr. Winky? Mr. Winky! Yeah. The ultimate weasel. Now I see. Okay. Then Toad was innocent all the time. And if he were only here... He's about to drop that... Toad! Anger! Angus! So he has a first name too? I hope someday you'll find it in... Oh, Molly, it's okay. Don't worry. Adios! Not so fast! You're still guilty in the eyes of the- Yeah. You still have to go back to jail. But how do you get to hell? That paper away from Winky. We'll sneak in through the secret tunnel. There's a secret tunnel? What about the secret tunnel? It would work only if each did his part. There was no margin for error. How does he get to hell? <laughs> oh, he's not dressed like a granny anymore. Did we get the ball off his foot or is he still running around with that ball and chain? Careful, lads. There is a guard. I put my face on the mic. <laughs> Pop him off! Stop! 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 Shoot! Pop him off? No! Oh, God. That was a close one. Trust Toad to start things off on the wrong foot. Of course. Why do we even bring him? Turning back now, nothing for it but to push on. What new and greater perils lay ahead? No. Do they not know about this secret tunnel? I mean, that's why it's a secret, but would you not have explored every nook and cranny of your house by now? <laughs> They're legit just passed out all over the house. There's Winky. There he is. Shh. King of the weasels. We'll have to climb up on the balcony. Well, there's one smart weasel. Why'd you go up that way? Why didn't you just crawl across the floor? This is a bad plan. Where's Toad? Why didn't you send Toad? He's the smallest one. Why would you send the heaviest little we the heaviest little mole? He's the cutest, but this is a bad plan. Little lower. Too low. Now he's snuggling him. He's snuggling him like a little teddy. Get him out of there. Let's go. Pull him up. Go! Go, Molly, go! Get him, you bloke! Get him! Go, Molly, go! Oh, what the hell? Molly! I beg your pardon. This looks like that scene in Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. <laughs> Just different. Which I've heard that Disney does that a lot. Reuses animation for different scenes. And this does look like that scene. Oh, you're back! Molly, look where you're going! Molly! Molly, over here! <gasps> Molly, no! This is so complicated. Well, that's 
just chaos. Why would you do that? There he is. Get him. Is this how he ends up in hell? <laughs> how does he end up in hell? Where's the paper? Where's Mooney? Where are we? <laughs> Where's the paper? Do you have the paper? We saved our skins, but we did not get the deed. Oh, it's okay, McBadger. You got it! And so it was a happy ending after all. He was a new toad now, completely reformed. To the new year! And to, to the, the new, new toad! Hello, you fellows! Oh no, he got a plane. Change! Excitement! Is this how he ends up in hell? And so when we speak of fabulous characters, the most fabulous of all will always be Thaddeus J. Toad. But how does he end up in hell? In the ride, he ends up in hell. Ichabod Crane. Old Icky, if you recall. Was... Icky. Huh, I don't like that. That's <laughs> Icky. Oh, he had a way with the yarn, did Mr. Irving? I loved the Sleepy Hollow show until they got rid of Abby, and then it was not good anymore, but it was great at the beginning. And just beyond, nestled deep in the low rolling hills. Icky. I like the Sleepy Hollow movie with Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci as well, and the late, great Sir Michael Cambon. Wands high. But this is, like, the first time I ever heard the story of Ichabod Crane. Good old Icky! <laughs> the worthy pedagogue was described as the most unusual. I always remembered that Ichabod was so skinny. Riding along, one might well mistake him for some... Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Icky. It sounds like such a quaint place to live. Sleepy Hollow. Old Schnooker and Schnapp Shoppy. A group of rustic lads known I want to go to the uh, ye old Schnooker and Schnapps Shoppy. Brom Bones was a burly, roistering blade, always ready for a fight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and though Brom was much given to man. Okay, Brom. You're doing too much. In his mischief. Indeed, with his waggish humor and prodigious. Is it just me, or does Brom remind anyone else of Gaston? He's even kind of dressed like Gaston. He's just a man. Why is everybody so. He's just a skinny man. Are they shovels or are they feet? They are big feet. Master, what's his name? Ichabod, Ichabod, Ichabod Crane, Ichabod Crane, Ichabod <laughs> I like her little walk. I got some pies on my head. And though the arrival of the pedagogue gave rise, what does pedagogue mean? I don't think I spelled that right, but I don't know what that word means. What does pedagogue mean? Over which, with lordly dignity, he held absolute sway. Why is he peeping in everybody's baskets? Say Ichabod was a conscientious man. Never bore in mind the golden ah, He does look like a chicken. Are you gonna hit that kid? For it behooved him to keep on good terms with his pupils. Why, so he could eat? The mothers happen to be good cooks. Ichabod trying to get in the house and get some food. Interesting. Okay. Who's the town ladies man? Gets around. Ichabod. Ichabod's a bit of a hoe. Other than Ichabod, 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 Ichabod gets around like nobody else can. Ichabod's a bit of a hoe. Moreover, What's Ichabod women's chatting and chatting? Ways to increase his slender income. Look at all these dates. My oh my, Ichabod. How many kids does Ichabod have across the country? Bum, 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 bum,
Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All the ladies love Ichabod. <laughs> Brum boom boom. To ridicule to Brum Bones and his gang, and yet to Ichabod these were. <laughs> Brum's like, I, or Ichabod was like, I don't care. I get to eat. Whenever which remained quite undisturbed. These ladies are spent. What happened? See, he likes this lady who looks like Cinderella. A certain woman. Katrina Van Tassel, daughter. Katrina Van Tassel. Richest farmer in the county. She was a blue. That was with that. She was the. Uh, right. Melting and rosy. Quite stacked. Jeez, Katrina. That's the. <laughs> that water went down his pants. Nobody yet has ever upset Katrina. This is so silly. Coquette. A coquette. What is a coquette? Damn it. There's so many words I don't understand that I got to look up. I didn't know it was going to be a vocabulary lesson. Or you can do more with what? But Katrina will kiss and run. Are they calling Katrina a tease? Like you can get lucky with Anne or Margaret. Or even Angelina, but Katrina, nope. Katrina, She's gonna run. Nope. The girl is like, uh, I got you a pie, and you just sat in this cake I spent all day making. You just put a turkey on your head, sir, and you ate your hat. You ate your hat and put a turkey on your head. You've lost your mind. Now, I know you hear these kids making a mess. Now, there was no doubt the fair Katrina was the richest prize in the country. See, just looking at a picture of her. And the schoolmaster, being an ambitious man, at once began to fill his mind with... His whole world has gone to shit because of Katrina. Katrina, my love, who can resist your grace? She's like, what's up? Psych! <laughs> oh, Katrina. What I was trying to say before was Katrina was uh, Christina Ricci in the movie, right? In such an inappropriate relationship. <laughs> that barn's a gold mine. How I'd love to hit the check. I'm confused. Does he want money or does he want food? Well, the old goat can't take it with him. And when he cuts out, that's what I cut in. <laughs> wow, Ichabod. But don't worry, Katie. Ichabod will protect you. Oh, my. Sounds so predatory. I do not like this at all. Where does the headless horseman come in to wake Ichabod up? There are kids out there, Icky. Truth to say, every portal to Katrina's heart was jealously guarded by a host of rustic admirers. Ichabod was confident he'd soon ride roughshod over these simple country bumpkins. Ah, uh, there's uh, one that's not quite so bumpkin, and that would be Brom. The ease with which Brom cleared the field of rivals both piqued and provoked the fair Katrina. She don't like you. And she often wished that some champion would appear and for once take the field openly. Again. Does he even realize that Brahm is there? Wow. Did he pick her up and take her? Wow. See, she's very nice and she gave you a cloth. Brahm is very Gaston. Ichabod was aware only the Dame Fortune was at last. I'd be so freaked out if I saw a guy do that. And that's a superpower. What is he's like flying? How is he gonna get there before them? <laughs> oh, Icky. Slick icky. <laughs> Making Brom look like a fool. Take that stuff inside. While I bring her inside. Jeez. I think that's his nose.
<laughs> that's not how that works. I don't think that's how that works. How are you going to give me my own flowers, Ichabod? <laughs> Go away, Brom! Oh, oh! I thought she was going to take him upstairs. Brom, piss off! He looked like Rocket Ralph. Oh my god, did he go down the well? <laughs> Brom, just give up and go home. A frolic? Personal and provocative summons. What are you doing, Katrina? Are you trying to start a fight? I love your little pink bow, Ichabod. Ah, Icky, you sly old dog. Oh, Icky, you sly old dog, you. <laughs> what are you doing with that? Mm -hmm. Just turn on the old charm and the fair Katrina is yours for the ask. Is he using chalk as cologne? Chalk dust as cologne? Ichabod issued forth like a knight errant of old. Oh, that poor. Take, can you, you want to take the thing off? Thank you. Is that Cyril? <laughs> the hair was a perfect field for his endeavors. Now, indeed, what he put his big ass feet. For beyond all his other talents, the schoolmaster prided himself upon his dancing. The unhappy Brom, already bested at every turn, saw himself once more outmatched. Oh, Brom, it's okay, man. Go find you a different girl. What is a posturing pedagogue? I gotta find out what pedagogue means. That was pretty smooth, Icky. Smooth indeed. Look at you getting some cake. How are you going to put your foot in my face? Aww. Aww. That was so mean. That's so mean. She just wants to dance with somebody. That's so mean. <laughs> The poor lady. I feel so bad for her. That's not nice. Somebody find a nice gentleman or lady for this woman. She deserves a nice dancing partner. I'm not enjoying this tale. So mean. There was no doubt that Ichabod was the man. All right, Ichabod. And yet there was still a chance his time would come. Give it up, Brom. Seriously, just find another lady to dance with. There's plenty around. Tell him ghostly tales of Halloween. There was no more firm, potent believer in spooks and goblins than Ichabod Crane. I see. So we're going to scare him to death. Gather around and I'll elucidate on what goes on outside when it gets late. He's so hungry. Look, he's like, look at all my food. There's things with horns and saucer eyes. See what goes on Halloween night. <laughs> the tale of the headless horseman. Ghosts are bad, but the one that's cursed is the headless horseman. He's the worst. Grown in the hip. Road from Parker to Stop pouring the coffee. He's dead. He's sure that he can get ahead. Icky. Did Brom just come up with this on the spur of the moment? Right off the top of his head? The headless horseman needs a head with a dead hit man. Cloppity clop. You can't reason with a headless. Oh, poor Icky. He's so scared. For a second look. Made for the bridge that spans the <laughs> you need your head look out beware with a hand hip and clop <laughs> he's a kidnapper to swap. Oh these lyrics are so funny. Alright. You can't reason with Why'd you put so much on that egg, Icky?
What was that? Paprika? So now he's gonna watch home. He's gonna walk home at like three in the morning all by himself. Brom's gonna scare the crap out of him because he's a jerk, big old jerky jerk. If that's Cyril, he's so broken down. He misses Toad. Doesn't it look like Cyril all sad? <laughs> Your knees are knocking there, Icky. Let's go. Just pick up the pace. Have Cyril pick up the pace and let's get through. Because you know Brahms just messing with you. It does look like a hand, though. It also kind of looks like the uh, <laughs> opening credits of Secret Invasion. <laughs> Every small detail of Brahms' awful story. Why'd you go this way? <laughs> That horse is taking his good old time. Cyril, I need you to pick it up a little bit. Yeah! Alright, we see what it was. Let's go. Come on. Stop holding on to that horse's butt. Can we just go, Ichabod? Come on. You're taking too long. You're freaking yourself out. Does seem like the whole force is like Ichabod. See, it's Toad. Toad's like, I need a motor coach. And get off my friend. <laughs> the wind in the willows. Ichabod, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. How did he cross his legs over his head like that? You know you're not moving. Cyril just does not care. He's giving up. Get your head out of that horse's crack. Leave him there. Bye, horse. about losing it. <laughs> Can we go then? Like, why? okay, it's all real funny. Can we go now? <laughs> why are you messing with him? You could have actually killed him, Brom. My boy has superpowers. Did you, he flew. He's flying. He does not need that horse. Just do your weird levitating flying thing. Cyril, pick it up. I'm gonna need you to pick it up, Cyril. Stop hitting me. You really could have killed him. Are you trying to kill him, Brom? Um. You're not. You gotta give it up to Brom's horse for being in on it, too. There, you're going, what are you doing? Look out! <laughs> Brom! Enough is enough! Great, my friends. The ghost is through. His power ends. Make it for the bridge. Wrong way! Where are you going the wrong way? Oh my god! This is so much! Just go! Across the bridge! Stop going in circles! Well, now you're on the wrong horse, Icky. <gasps> this is so silly. Did he hit him with the pumpkin? Next morning, Ichabod's hat was found. And close beside it, a shattered pumpkin. But there was no trace of the schoolmaster. What do you mean? What do you mean there was no trace? Where did he go? What? The fair Katrina to the altar. 
Now, rumors persisted that Ichabod was still alive, married to a wealthy widow in a distant county. But, of course, the good Dutch settlers refused to believe such nonsense. For they knew the schoolmaster had been spirited away by the headless horseman. Ichabod just straight up left town. He was like, no, thank you. And Katrina just married Brahm anyway. Are you serious? Man, I'm getting out of here. Me too. I'm getting out of here too because that was messed up. That was really messed up. But like I said, I love that the credits were already at the beginning, so it's just over. Okay, can we just real briefly... So Katrina just was like, okay, I guess he uh, peaced out. I'm going to marry Brom, even though Brom's an ass. I guess he's the best ass in town. So let me just go marry him instead. What a messed up story. Wow, old Disney was so complicated with their stories <laughs> and their depictions of people. Um, I still need to look up what a pedagogue and a coquette are. If you know what those are, let me know down below. I'm going to go look them up now, so I will probably know, but I want to hear what you guys think a pedagogue and a coquette are. Anyway, this was a fun kickoff to October Palooza 2023. I hope you enjoyed the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Let me know down below in the comment section if you have any more spooky things for me to watch. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Take care and have a great day. Bye!